foggy. Well, two C grades in four months equals a problem in the eyes of the health district. But in tonight's Dirty Dining, a restaurant tells Darcy Spears the inspection process is the problem and they're just doing their best to survive. Something became immediately clear when we walked into Playa Papagayo's seafood restaurant on Sahara and Decatur. I'm looking for the grade card. I see a bunch of stuff on the wall, but I don't see that. Playa Papagayo's got a 37 demerit C grade on January 2nd, but doesn't seem too eager to display it. Is that your C grade kind of hidden down there? Uh, looks like it. Yeah. We asked direct questions, but got indirect answers. Yeah, they came in a busy moment and we're just kind of, you know, uh, getting things. Like I said, we're understaffed at the moment, so we just, you know, but. Uh, but Myra Morales says they're not excuses, just reality. You know. Do you feel that they're a little too nitpicky? Is it? Yeah, know. they are. But you know what? If that's how they want it, that's that's fine with us. We just, you know, in the moment when we're busy, as long as we're getting our food how it has to be, we're fine. Inspectors were not fine with much of the food at Playa Papagayos. Bread was expired. Pots of menudo, pozole, and red beef stew had to be thrown out due to unsafe temperatures. So did beans, salsa, shredded lettuce, and carne asada. A large pot of brown stew in the walk-in fridge was stored on the floor, and ceviche, salsa, pork, roasted tomatoes, soup, and rice were uncovered and unprotected from contamination. I just want to make sure, or have, have it clear that we are a very clean establishment, you know, where it counts, the food, everything is fresh, everything is clean, as clean as we can have it, definitely. Not according to the health district. Inspectors called this spatula unsanitary and in disrepair. The citrus juicer was dirty and stained, soda nozzles and strainers were soiled, and the meat and tomato slicer was dirty with food debris. There was also no hot water in restrooms. So you disagree with some of the violations that they wrote up? We do, but I mean, there's people that are very um, sensitive, I guess, so. The regulations are what they are. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about it, so we'll just, you know. Inspectors documented conditions inviting to pests, including food debris and grease buildup on stove shelving, in between stoves, and in floor drains. The refrigerator doors were also soiled with food debris, and they said the person in charge was not knowledgeable about food safety. The health report ends with this note, which says, due to history of noncompliance with food safety regulations, facility is mandated to receive intervention training. But there's definitely places out there that are way worse, and you know they just happen to catch us on a bad day, so it's understandable. And you know, hopefully, no one stops coming here because of that. Playa Papagayo still has a C grade. They say they've scheduled reinspection for the end of this week. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News, elevating Las Vegas.